in this part we are going to study something about some important lines within a triangle and leading to important points within a triangle so let's first start off with a median now first of all what is a median if i have a triangle abc then a median would be a line which joins a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side so if i take vertex a and if I say that D is the midpoint of BC which is the side opposite to vertex A then AD would be the median to side BC. So median is a line joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now in this manner if we draw all the three medians then the three medians would pass through one common point which is called as the centroid normally denoted as G. So the three medians of the triangle pass through one common point which is called as the centroid. Now with respect to the centroid there is an extremely important property that a centroid divides each median in the ratio 2 is to 1 which would mean that AG divided by GD would be 2 is to 1 Similarly, BG divided by GE would be 2 is to 1 and similarly CG divided by GF would be 2 is to 1. So centroid divides each median in the ratio 2 is to 1. With respect to the median, another important property would be that whenever we draw a median, so for example if we look at AD as the median, then AD divides the original triangle ABC into two triangles of equal area. So the property is every median divides the triangle into two equal parts which means into two triangles of equal area. Next point with respect to the median a very important theorem which is known as Apollonius theorem. Now this theorem actually relates the three sides of the triangle with respect to the median. And how can we write down Apollonius theorem? So if we look at median AD, then Apollonius theorem with respect to median AD would be AB square plus AC square which is nothing but the two sides of the triangle originating from vertex A from where the median also originated square of the sides and the sum of the square. So AB square plus AC square is equal to 2 times the median square which originates from A plus 2 times now when we look at the third side of the triangle which is BC we take only half of that which can be either BD or DC so 2 times BD square so just to state Apollonius theorem once again AB square plus AC square is equal to 2 times AD square plus 2 times BD square. Now if we were to state Apollonius theorem for let's say median BE then it would be BA square plus BC square equal to 2 times BE square plus 2 times CE square using the same logic. And if we were to write it for median CF then it would be CA square plus CB square is equal to twice CF square plus twice, twice AF square. So this is Apollonius theorem which can be used in problems whenever we want to relate the sides of the triangle with respect to a median. And the last property associated with respect to the medians and that property would be three times the sum of squares of the sides of the triangle. So if I look at the three sides of the triangle which would be AB square plus BC square plus AC square. Now three times of that would be equal to four times the sum of the squares of the medians which means AD square plus BE square plus CF square. Just to repeat, 3 times the sum of the squares of the sides of the triangle 
is equal to 4 times the sum of the squares of the medians of the triangle. So these are all the properties with respect to the median of a triangle which is nothing but line drawn from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side and with respect to the centroid which is nothing but the point of intersection of all the medians of a triangle. Let's move on to another line within a triangle. Let's now look at what is known as an altitude. So once again if we consider a triangle ABC altitude which is also called as the height is nothing but a line drawn from a vertex which is perpendicular to the opposite side. So if we draw a perpendicular from A onto BC then AD is called as the altitude which is nothing but perpendicular from a vertex to the opposite side. Now if in this manner we draw all the perpendiculars from each vertex to the opposite side then we would find that the three altitudes would actually meet at one common point which is known as the orthocenter. So the point of intersection of all the three altitudes is called as the orthocenter. And there is an important property with respect to angle at the orthocenter which can be stated as 180 degrees minus the vertical angle. Now what do we mean by this? If I consider angle BOC which is the angle at this orthocenter then it is equal to 180 degrees minus the vertical angle and the vertical angle for angle BOC would be considered as the angle A of the original triangle ABC and hence this would be minus angle BAC. Similarly if I were to write angle AOB which is the angle at the orthocenter then it would be 180 degrees minus angle ACB and we would have a third angle which is angle AOC is equal to 180 degrees minus angle ABC. So with respect to the altitude there are three important points which we need to know. Altitude is a line drawn from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. The three altitudes meet at one common point called the orthocenter and the angle at the orthocenter is equal to 180 degrees minus the vertical angle. So this is with respect to altitude of a triangle. Let's move on to a third line within a triangle. Let's now look at what is called as the angle bisector. Again if we start with a triangle ABC then as the name suggests angle bisector will basically be a line which bisects the angle of the triangle. So if I were to draw this line which is AD and which bisects angle A which means divides angle A into two equal parts then AD would be called as the angle bisector. Once again if we draw all the three angle bisectors then the three angle bisectors would meet at one common point and this point is known as the in center. Now why is this common point known as the in center? From this common point I if we draw a perpendicular to each side of the triangle then these three perpendicular distances are equal and this is known as the in radius. Now the relevance of the in radius is that if we use this point I as the center and if we use this perpendicular distance as the radius and if we draw a circle then we would get a circle of this type which is called as the in circle. What does that mean? It is a circle inside the triangle touching all the three sides of the triangle. So let's just go over this again. Angle bisector is a line which bisects each angle of the triangle. The three angle bisectors would meet at one common point called the in center I. From I when we draw the perpendicular to each side of the triangle 
then these three perpendicular distances are the same which is called as the in radius and with i as center and this in radius as the radius when we draw a circle then this circle lies inside the triangle and it touches all the three sides of the triangle and one last property with respect to the in center angle at the in center is equal to 90 degrees plus half the vertical angle similar to what we considered for the ortho center so now if i look at angle bic which is angle at the in center then it is 90 degrees plus half of angle bac which would be the vertical angle considering bic as the angle at the in center in the same manner we can write down angle aib which would be 90 degrees plus half of angle acb or angle aic which is 90 degrees plus half of angle abc so this is the formula for angle at the in center and all that we've seen is with respect to angle bisector in a triangle finally let's look at what is called as a perpendicular bisector in a triangle once again let's start by drawing a triangle which is ABC perpendicular bisector in a way would mean a line which is perpendicular to a side and which also bisects the side so if I take side BC of the triangle and if I have to draw a line which is perpendicular to BC as well as bisects which means divides BC into two equal parts then it would be a line of this type perpendicular and dividing BC into two equal parts now this is where we need to understand a very important point when I have drawn this perpendicular bisector for BC it is not going to pass through vertex A whereas in case of the median the altitude and the angle bisector all of them pass through the vertices of the triangles now because the perpendicular bisector may not pass through the vertex of a triangle a perpendicular bisector will not be referred to in terms of the length of the perpendicular bisector it is possible to refer to the length of a median length of an altitude and the length of an angle bisector but we may not be able to write down the length of a perpendicular bisector because it may not pass through the vertex of a triangle coming back to this if we now draw all the perpendicular bisectors for this particular triangle then we will notice that the three perpendicular bisectors pass through one common point of intersection which is called as the circumcenter let's label the circumcenter as point P so circumcenter is the point of intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors in a triangle now if we join the circumcenter to every vertex of the triangle then we will notice that these lengths PA, PB and PC are all equal which means the circumcenter is equidistant from the three vertices of the triangle these three equal lengths are also called as the circum radii so the distance between the circum circumcenter sorry and the vertex is called as the circum radius this point is called as the circum center and now if we use this point p as the center and this length pa as the radius then we would get a circle which is going to pass through the three vertices of the triangle and hence this circle is what is known as the circumcircle why circumcircle because this is a circle circumscribing the triangle which means lying outside the triangle but passing through the three vertices of the triangle so to just recap this Perpendicular bisector is a line which is perpendicular to the side and bisects the side. The three perpendicular bisectors meet at one common point called as the circumcenter. 
the circum center is equidistant from the three vertices of the triangle this is called as the circum radius and with point p as center and pa as radius if we draw a circle then it passes through the three vertices of the triangle and this is called as the circum center just to mention the first point once again perpendicular bisector may not have a length because it may not pass through the opposite vertex or through a vertex of a triangle so this is with respect to the perpendicular bisectors of the triangle and with this we've completed the four possible lines inside the triangle and giving rise to four possible points which are very important inside the triangle